start. That might be what. Put that in there. I don't see any. With our new project. The calendar says it's spring. Neither the weatherman nor the fish got that memo. Uh, initially, we were going to rebuild this. Troy built Weed Whacker. But I just got an urgent message. I got a damsel in distress. I'll show you. Actually, before we get out there, we're going to need this. And this. Minus the weed whacker. Now Jen's been having an air pressure problem for a while. In her tire. That might be why. I've looked this tire over many times and never saw that. But today, I found it. So we're going to fix it. First thing we're going to do is try and get that one out. Come on. It's not a very big screw. Oh, hear the air. Hear the air. We're going to get the plug ready to go. That way, we don't lose as much air. Just take our rubber plug out. Feed it through here. Maybe. Took a little bit of prying and pushing, but we got it in there. They want that to go about halfway. Now we're gonna try this all one-handed. Here's our screw. We have to get it out. Make sure you put it in the driveway right there so you can run it over again. Now you gotta take the reamer to clean the hole. Maybe. Here we go. Put you all down here. Kit does come with some extra cement. We'll put a little bit on there. Don't need a whole lot. Whoopsie. Just as I just poured out by the gallon. Let's go back to the reaming portion of this program. Alright, note to self, the tire's got a lot of air in it, it's really hard, really hard to get this plug in there, so I had to let the air out of the tire, uh, not completely, I should have let it go right flat, would have been as hard, but we got it in, we're going to let that set up for a minute, go fire up the air compressor, and uh, see if we fixed it, I guess time will tell. All right, we got our plug all trimmed up with the uh, dullest knife I could find. I have to get a razor blade and get that trimmed up nicely, just so it looks like the rest of the roof here. And I'm not sure, you may or may not hear that going down the road by hitting the asphalt. Let the air compressor get some air in it right now. I'm going to pump the tire back up and see if we fixed it or we're going to a tire shop. Boy, the wind is not cooperating today. All right, we got it all filled up. Got the proper amount of air in it. There's our plug right there. Um, I really don't have a squirt bottle with soap in it, but I've got a Bass Pro Shop Camo mug, and it's going to work because it's camo. Some soapy water. 
put that in there I don't see any bubbles do you see any bubbles I think we got it all right one job done damsel is no longer in distress well how did you all like that stance that technique trying to get that in there it's like yeah I almost split a bean I know maybe I need to work out a little bit more but the problem was there's too much air in the tire that's the only thing I can think of uh, the kit that I used well I don't want to be on the side of the road in minus 25 snowing or a blizzard or anything like that trying to plug a tire uh, I also uh, don't want to be in a driving rainstorm trying to outrun a tornado trying to fix a tire on the side of the road with this kit but it did work this is a ten dollar slime tire tackle tire repair kit <laughs> say that fast five times from walmart and i think i bought this separately so it didn't come with any cement so what you do get is a uh that's a plastic tire pressure gauge you get the reaming tool which now that i look at the video because there was so much air in the tire the reaming tool did not go all in yet and it might not have looked like it but i was working it in and out i was also giving it a twist what you're trying to do is rough up the hole a little bit that's got a whole lot of wrong also in the kit is the actual insertion tool now i found this opening to be a little bit small for the plugs it's quite a chore trying to get that in there and again like i said in the video you want to get that halfway so you might want to work on your technique a little bit when it comes time to insert the tool into the hole and once it's in there you gotta pull it out real fast because in the end of this it's actually split open and when you pull it out fast that's what releases this and it keeps that in the hole did i need to put the extra adhesive on it no but uh I put it on because I had it. So this is a $10 kit. Did it work? Yes, it did. Would I buy it again? Probably not. I've come to the conclusion that if I am on the side of the road and uh, I got to change a tire in any type of situation that's somewhat stressful, I need a bigger kit, a better kit, different size plugs. And also, I need to make sure the tire is completely flat because then all you're doing is fighting the air pressure inside the tire. Did it work? In my vehicle and also in Jen's vehicle, we have air compressors. The small ones that fit into the 12 volt outlets. And it's got enough reach that it can get to all four tires. Uh, those are a must. So I'll pack this kit up and put it away. Obviously, I'm not going to throw it away. I can still use it for something or if I'm in a pinch. And uh, I will be looking to get a much better kit. One for Jen's car and one for my truck. Uh, a plastic air pressure gauge. I don't think we need that all right time to move on to the actual topic of today's video so if you saw our last video we were planting seeds in that 72 pod setup that we got uh, to get our garden started which means spring is here <laughs> like I said the calendar says it's here uh, I'm gonna go with it's here it also means I gotta get our yard tools in order for the summer so I'm not fighting with those two I'm just trying to do a little preventive maintenance on the front end so i ain't got to fight with it on the back end so this is our troy built weed whacker we've had this thing for probably six or seven years it served me well but the problem is once you get it started and you move the choke to number two it'll run not well but if you go to number three which is where it's supposed to be it just bogs out and dies so we got to try and fix that problem. We're also probably going to change the plug and or we're just going to give it a Kent County rebuild. Hit it with a wire wheel. But first things first, I think we are going to rebuild it with some brake clean. Because that is nasty. Well, it's the next morning. And let me tell you what happened. Coffee got in the way. Then I went to Farmer Paul's and that got in the way. But why did I go to Farmer Paul's? Have a look. Well... The damsel in distress is no longer in distress. We got the tire fixed, but we are about to leave the farm with our new project. We're going to get this thing home and 
See if we can do something with it. Don't want to give away too much yet. So I think the first thing we're going to do is remove the cover, maybe. There it is. Have a look. This is, it's dirty. I mean, there's no, really nothing wrong with it, I don't think. But uh, we're going to run outside and give it a rebuild. All right, well, the Kent County rebuild is complete. I cleaned that up like it's brand new. He wouldn't even know it. That brake clean does a fantastic job of getting rid of the grease. Just makes it a whole lot nicer to work on. Now when I say work on, this does not need a lot of work. I'm not gonna lie to you. So a lot of times what happens is you start it with a choke closed. It tries to start, but it doesn't. You then move it to, to number two, which is partial choke. It starts and it runs, and a lot of times it'll operate that way, just not very well. When you put it to number three, it decides that it doesn't want to work at all. The minute you pull on the throttle over here, uh, it decides it wants to bog out. But we're going to pull a spark plug out right now and check it anyways, because it is the original spark plug, I'm not going to lie. So we'll pull that out get a good look at it and uh, see if it needs replacing or rebuilding yeah it's uh, carboned up pretty good there but it doesn't really look too bad I don't think we're gonna have to well, we're gonna wire wheel that one anyways just because we can but it did clean up okay and if you're wondering this is a 794-0055a not that that really means anything don't even tell me the brand of the spark plug but it's the one that came with it we have never changed it that plug looks really good all right we'll put it back in see if we can get this thing fired up no, it is last year's gas, too. Which is probably not going to help, but we're going to go with it. You hear the snap? The plug is on. Alright, we're going to prime it. We're going to try and start it in the one position. Once it tries to start, I'm going to then move it to the two. Once it's to the two, I'm going to move it to the three and see if the bogging is fixed. Yeah, hey. Okay. Start off in two. Looks like a dirty spark plug may have been our problem for the bogging all this time. So the past couple of years, I've not even, even looked at this thing. I've just pulled it out of the shed, put some gas in it, fired it up, and used it as best as it would run. Uh, had I known, just a faulty spark plug, or, or just a, not even a faulty spark plug, it was just a gummed up spark plug. And it didn't even require a wire wheel. But that's good to go. Well, that was a whole lot easier than I thought it was going to be. Am I complaining? Absolutely not. Because the lawnmower is going to be next. But that's not going to be in this video. Uh, I believe we are going to start that new project next week. That you caught a glimpse of on the trailer. And uh, hopefully we can bring you some good content out of that. But learn to do this stuff yourself. Save yourself some money. 
Had I taken this to a shop to get it looked at because it was bogging? Can't even tell you how much it would have costed, but I'm sure there's a minimum charge. And it turns out it was a dirty spark plug. Money in my pocket. Anyway, that's all I got for today's video. Hope you all enjoyed it. And I hope you all learned something. It's spring is here. It's time for the gardens. It's time to do some yard work. It's time to get some fishing done, which is where I think I'm going to go right now. Having said that, get out there and make your day. Don't let your day make you. Later. You might want to work on some technique, maybe a little bit, when it comes time to insert the tool into the hole. 